Hey everyone, I'm Amy and I'm on a mission to get healthy skin, a healthy mind, and a healthy body. So today we are discussing the keys to getting rid of acne scars. So if you've been following me for a while, then you have probably seen my Acne Scar Sunday videos. Now those videos were a series of videos sharing how I have been dealing with acne scars and what I'm doing to try to get rid of them. Now I haven't done one of those videos in a long time because since my last video, I have new breakouts that have held me back from actually working on reducing acne scars and instead I've just gained more acne scars due to those breakouts. Now I am getting closer to the point where I can start making those videos again but first I wanted to come here and just share my opinion and my theory of what I think is the key to getting rid of acne scars for good. By the way, if you have any questions regarding derma rolling or derma rollers, please leave them down below because I do plan on making a video answering all of your questions, so please go ahead and do that. I just want to put a disclaimer here and say that I am not a doctor or like a skincare professional or expert. I'm just someone who has experienced a lot with my skin in the last decade and I've learned a lot and these are just my findings, but I encourage you to form your own opinions and to take everything I say as you wish and um, try things for yourself. So the first key, and in my opinion, the most important key to getting rid of acne scars is you have to get your actual acne under control and you have to stop breaking out. Um, I know it's a lot easier said than done, but that is the most important thing to reducing your acne scars and having them go away. You cannot expect to clear your acne scars if you still have acne and you cannot treat your acne scars if you still have acne because first of all, you're just spreading germs if you're using like a derma roller and rolling over your acne. You're just spreading those bacteria and causing more pimples and more acne. So you don't want to do that. And also that sounds really painful. So don't do that. Once you get rid of the acne issue, you will have a better foundation to actually treat your acne scars. Now, for example, with my current skin, I don't have many acne scars on my forehead. So obviously that's not an area that I would necessarily treat, um, but I do have a lot of acne scars in this area, as you can probably tell. But right now I'm having some breakouts on the side of my face and not really many breakouts on the side of my face. So I could technically like treat this side of my face for the acne scars but i wouldn't touch this side of my face maybe like some areas that don't have any breakouts around it but for the most part i would stick to this side um that's possible you can do that but if i had acne all over i would not try to treat every single area it's just making your acne worse and it's just it's it's not improving your skin at all the second key to healing your acne and this is really important and it's seriously way easier said than done as well, but you have to stop inflammation. You have to control the inflammation and, and get rid of it pretty much. The more inflammation that you have, the worse that your acne scars are going to be. The brighter the redness or the brighter the pigmentation it is going to be. So if you can find the trigger of your inflammation and try to handle that next, if you have a lot of redness and things like that, then that will be the next step for you to reducing the look of your acne scars. And the third key to getting rid of acne scars is to find the method that works best for you and that you actually see results with. For example, derma rolling is my method that I like to use to get rid of acne scars. I've seen that it has improved my skin texture. It improves the overall look and feel of my skin with time. It doesn't happen overnight necessarily, but I do enjoy that method of helping my acne scars. Some people like to do chemical peels. Some people like to choose services at a salon or a spa. Make sure you're going to somebody who knows what they're actually doing. That's also very important. Some people like to like do exfoliating and like shaving their face to remove the first layer of skin. There's a lot of things that you could do, but find something that actually works for you and that you actually see is helping your skin get better. And finally, the fourth key to getting rid of acne scars is being patient. That is the most important one, actually. I mean, everything else is important, but this is one that's probably the hardest. You need to make sure that you are patient with getting rid of acne scars. So I would say that first is definitely, you know, getting rid of the acne. But the second most important thing is being patient. Being patient is the key, is one, obviously one of the keys here to getting rid of acne scars because 
it's not going to happen overnight. It didn't, it didn't happen overnight with your acne. You know, the healing of your acne didn't happen overnight either. So healing your acne scars and getting rid of your acne scars, it's also not going to happen overnight. So please be patient. Sometimes it takes months, years even to get rid of acne scars. Sometimes it takes laser um, services and things like that to really help and that requires money and time and things like that and healing time so so please be patient and also try to be optimistic and enthusiastic about your acne scars just hope for the best and be positive and I promise you if you keep trying and if you do these things then hopefully you will have clear skin free of acne scars but again it takes time so be patient I will be coming back very soon with more Acne Scar Sunday videos, which I'm so excited about. I know, you guys. Many of you have been mad at me because I've kind of just stopped doing these videos, but I have to allow my skin the time to heal itself. So um, I look forward to being back with those videos very soon. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please leave your comments and questions down below. Love you guys so much, and I'll see you next time.